Listen. Hey everyone, Mark here, and today we're going to be going over experiments in Cloudera machine learning. If you haven't checked out the CML overview video, check it out because I go over a little bit about what experiments are, plus all the other great things about the platform. So experiments allow you to easily run a script over and over again with different inputs. This allows you to tune models, create models on different data sets, try different sets of features. Really, you're only limited by your imagination here. Let's start with a simple example where we'll input two or more numbers and spit out the sum. I already have a project called Experiments Demo. In there, I have addNumbers.py. This is a simple script that sums up all the input arguments together. Note that I imported the CDSW package at the top. That package is how we'll send the results of the script back to the CML console. We do that by using the track metric function. Let's try it out. I'll head over to the experiments page, select run experiment in the top right. I'll select my script, enter my arguments, select Python 3 because we all know Python makes the world go round. Select the smallest engine profile because this isn't a complex script and start the run. This is going to build, push in container and run and give us back the answer. So let's give it a little time. And we're back. And as you can see, there's a sum of one, two and three. Now, if you don't see your metric, don't panic. You may have to select it first. Okay, how about a more real world example? I've got a data set with characteristics of different homes as well as their prices. Let's see if we can predict the prices with a simple linear regression model. Pause the video if you want to take a closer look at what I'm doing here. We're going to test our linear regression model using cross-validation. If you're unsure what cross-validation is, just know we're not creating a new model. Instead, we're validating how well our model works on the current data set. Cross-validation tends to have a negative bias on performance, so we want to optimize the validation method by tuning the amount of folds to use. I assume there's one argument, which is the amount of folds. Then I load the data, do a little cleanup, create the linear regression model, then run cross-validation with the number of folds equal to the input argument. And last, I output the number of folds and the average accuracy across all the fold tests. Okay, let's run the experiment now. I'm going to click run experiment in the top right again, select the script, enter how many folds as the input argument, select Python 3, and go. I'll skip ahead so you don't have to watch all these experiments get deployed. And they're done. Ignore my error, forgot to convert the string input to an int. Anyway, I've run two different types of experiments here, so I'm going to filter out the old outputs and just leave the metrics from my most recent experiments. There we go, much cleaner. So my model didn't do very well, but that's besides the point. You can see that the accuracy slightly changed as the number of folds changed. Now imagine what else you could do with this in the future. I know I'm going to try this with TensorFlow to test different amounts of layers in my neural net. Maybe I'll share that project in the future. Anyway. Thanks for watching today. Let us know in the comments if there are any topics that you would like us to cover and subscribe to be notified of our upcoming videos. Also, if you have any questions about CDP, make sure to check out the Cloudera community. There's a link in the description to take you there. Until next time.